Okay, well, let's roll. All right, so for this month's Cool Car No Boundaries, we are fortunate enough to be with the top of the food chain when it comes to cool events and cool things to do. Sparrow from the South Shore Convention and Tourism Bureau. Jim, how are you? Good, how are you? Living the dream every day. All right. Having fun. Glad to be here with you guys today. Gorgeous, yep. sunny day in the Vale of Paradise as we take a little drive down the road. Well, I, I, we're pretty excited about this. We have an opportunity to, to talk a little bit about what's the best things to do for 2019. The best things to do for 2019 uh, sometimes are the best things that we did in 2018. Uh, top of my list is always, uh, right now, you still have a chance, depending on when uh, we go to uh, airing with this, but uh, Christmas Story Comes Home is still going on at the Indiana Welcome Center. It's a great holiday tradition that we've established 10 years ago mm -hmm. uh, through an intellectual property deal with Warner Brothers and uh, Macy's Herald Square, New York. Wow. And uh, we bought those windows 10 years ago and have had about 35,000 people a year in a matter of a little more than six weeks every year. Pierogi Fest, one of my favorites every year, uh, is an absolute blast. Now, where's Pierogi Fest? The Pierogi Fest. The Pierogi Fest. In Whiting, Indiana. Whiting, there, Indiana. I, there is no other in, in my book. Uh, it is the quintessential Pierogi Fest. About 250,000 people in two days. And... They come from all over America to descend on Whiting. And what better place than Whiting to have Pierogi Fest? Uh, and it's incredible. They do a great job on 119th Street. While you're there, you can go up to Woe Zone on the lake. They're a new floating uh, water park that just got our Attraction of the Year award that we gave to them for 2018. And it's a, a beautiful facility and bringing in many tens of thousands of people in the summer. And there's just all kinds of great stuff all the time, Jim. I could tell you about the South Shore Brewery Trail with more than 20 different breweries throughout Lake Porter, LaPorte, Newton, Jasper counties. Now we're talking my language. Yeah. I think I could handle that. You could do that? Well, we've got a, a great, uh, probably about 8,000 people that have uh, downloaded the app. And uh, go to your app store and just get South Shore Brewery Trail, and you'll find out all kinds of fresh food, entertainment, new beers, uh, anything going on in these great breweries of the region, uh, that app will tell you all about it. Now, what about the area? Okay, so you, tell us what do you do at the South Shore Convention and Tourism? Uh, the South Shore Convention and Visitors Authority is the region's preeminent uh, destination management organization. Uh, my job is to specifically try to work with elected officials and business leaders on those much bigger issue Topics: a Convention center, for instance, uh, it, you know, increased capacity at the airport. Uh, gaming was something that we spearheaded 25 years ago. So those big game-changing policy uh, discussions are, are more of what I do. Uh, we have an incredible staff, Jim, that does all kinds of, if you go to our website along the southshore.com. And I have, it's a beautiful website. Uh, you'll see an incredibly skilled team of professionals that create uh, first-class digital content information for all of your followers to log on and, and learn about. So uh, we're, we're really all about putting heads in beds, cheeks in seats, feet in the street, fans in the stands, and torsos through turnstiles. That's what we kind of get up and do every day. Now, give us three things that you think are must-see events throughout Northwest India. Now, you handle what areas in Northwest India? Lake, Porter, LaPorte, Newton, and Jasper counties. Okay, let's spread it out a little bit. Tell us, what do you think is some of the better things to do this year in each one of those respective areas? Well, I think that, again, you, you, I, I just named Pierogi Fest as, yes. as one, of, uh, one of my favorite events that me and my wife go to every year. We I've heard miss. that's wonderful. Uh, you know, then you get into a, a space that touch all three counties, which are the dunes. Yes. Whether it's the state park, the national park, uh, the learning center, the Paul H. Douglas Center and Gary. I mean, the, the dunes is so encompassing and there's so much to do there that you could literally spend every weekend going to a different part, whether it's Cowles Bog, whether it's Pinhook Bog, uh, all of these incredibly unbelievable places for flora and fauna we have right in our backyard. You know, so. the blowouts near Kemmel Road, I went there one time with some old college buddies and I was hooked and it had everything to do with me moving to Northwest Indiana and making it my home. It was unbelievable and so many people don't even know it exists. Well, that's, that's definitely one of them that would really cover a lot of Porter and LaPorte County. Uh, our restaurant of the year we just uh, gave to Bartlett's Fish Camp right on the water in Michigan City and everything that goes on up in 
in that area around the, the zoo and the park up there, gorgeous facilities. Uh, Anderson Winery over there, that uh, they're part of our South Shore Wine Trail. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got a great bunch of people uh, in, involved in both the breweries and the winery aspect. Uh, one of the things I like to do is go down to uh, Newton County, of course, for Fair Oaks. I mean, and yeah. everything that goes on there, uh, year round, you can find something to do. It's a great daycation kind of opportunity for our family. Absolutely. So, uh, and then here in Valparaiso, we've got a lot of wonderful things going on here. What What do you like about Valpo? Well, the, what isn't there to like about Valpo? Mayor Costas has done an incredible job with this city uh, and really transformed it into a place where people want to be. Uh, the restaurant scene here in Valpo is second to none in the region. Uh, just all kinds of great food and beverage in this community. The downtown, with all of its attractions, whether it's Popcorn Fest, whether it's the, the Beer Fest that goes on down here, uh, there's always something going on in Valpo. And it's it's an easy, it sells itself. I mean, you bring people right here, we're gonna drive past the, the ice skating rink here momentarily. Uh, it's just become an outstanding place to live and play. Uh, I, I can't say enough about what Mayor Costas has done with, with the city of Valparaiso. It, it's truly a very easy uh, community to sell in our portfolio. Now, you have obviously a passion for, for Northwest Indiana, born and raised in Northwest Indiana. Uh, put you on the spot here. Describe Northwest Indiana in a word. You know, you sent me that and I thought, one word. One word. And I'd have to say opportunity. I continue to be seduced on a daily basis by what we can be. And we've become more uh, with what's going on in Crown Point, in Whiting, in Hammond, in Gary. Uh, there's so much that these mayors are changing at Hobart uh, and all of our communities, both cities and towns. And everywhere, you know, people will talk about the negativity. I, I tend to look at the opportunity. We have opportunity everywhere we look to continue to build on what is being done. And if we can set aside some of the parochialism, if we can uh, set aside the concern about zip codes and boundaries and look at the region more holistically, I think we'll continue to have increased opportunity everywhere we look.